We're in for another warm day today, up to 89 this afternoon. TV weatherman Dan Satterfield finds himself in the middle of the heated debate over man's role in global climate change. It used to be a mountain of evidence. It's now a mountain range of evidence. For a long time, Satterfield, the chief meteorologist at CBS affiliate WHNT in Huntsville, Alabama, was skeptical that human activity was accelerating climate change until he studied the data. You put greenhouse gases into an atmosphere, the planet's going to get warmer. That's just done and said. It's a fact. Satterfield's beliefs were bolstered by his own travels to the Arctic. Welcome to the North Pole. I feel like I'm there, I'll tell you. In 2007, he saw firsthand the glaciers that scientists say are shrinking dramatically. That's the coast of Greenland behind me. It's one of the only two ice caps left on Earth. He returned convinced of his position, but a recent survey shows that among his fellow weathercasters, his view is in the minority. The survey by George Mason University and the University of Texas found that while more than half of TV weathercasters believe global warming is happening, less than a third say it is caused mostly by man-made carbon emissions. And here are today's high temperatures. San Diego weathercaster and Weather Channel co-founder John Coleman is one of the more prominent doubters. Everything they do has been based on the carbon dioxide uh, as a pollutant, carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas. So if that's invalid, which it is, and I know it is, then all of the other falls by the wayside. The doubters are also strong right in Satterfield's hometown of Huntsville. It's my view that most global warming has been natural. Former NASA climate scientist February, Roy Spencer admits his view Europe. is out of the scientific the mainstream. Storm. But Spencer argues naturally occurring weather patterns leading to massive cloud changes are causing climate change. Nature is perfectly capable of producing its own global warming or global cooling. Speaking about climate change. In an effort to bridge the gap, climatologists and meteorologists gathered in Miami today for a conference organized by Yale University. Most of the warming observed over the last 50 years is attributable to human activities. Dan Satterfield was there. I try to figure out what the weather's going to do for the next three to five, seven days, and that isn't easy. Your natural thing to think is, how can they possibly tell me what the weather's going to do in 100 years? Thinking that he hopes to change. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.